I've never made one of these videos and I have new followers all the time, so I thought I might as well make one now and pin it to the top of my page. Hi, I'm Donish, that Donish guy, and if you're following me, it's probably because I identified somebody online. It's a skill that I have that I use to help people whenever I can. Of course, if I'm unable to identify them, on occasion we'll crowdsource it and see if any of you could help me find who it is. But I love actually finding them myself. I'm not a private eye, nor have I had any experience in that at all. Actually, I did comedy for a long time. So I implement that a lot into my videos as well. The purpose of identifying people on my platform is so that people can get justice and be able to identify their attacker, their abuser, or whatever the case might be. Or if there's nothing the police can do about it, we can pressure the police and pressure the authorities to do their jobs as a community. I do not support any sort of harassment or stalking or, or matching the type of abuse we see in these videos. We don't want to become these people. We want these people to be held accountable in an effort to lessen these types of things happening in society, to make people aware so they will not be future victims of these people, and a reference to if any of them are future victims and need their information. Some people like to minimize what we do here by calling it cancel culture, but I'm not going through people's Facebooks five, 10 years looking for something racist that they said a long time ago. I'm looking for things that are currently happening right now and we're holding people accountable for doing those things. Hold them accountable legally. I have found that this is the best use of my platform. I've had stalkers, I've been swatted, I've been doxxed, I've had people slandering, defaming me online, accusing me of horrible, terrible things in an effort to deplatform me. But I never sink to the level that they go to because that is what they want. What we do is absolutely legal because there's no malice in wanting to help people who need help and have nowhere else to turn. But when people post your information along with a physical threat and the means to actually carry out that threat, that is doxing because it serves no legitimate purpose other than malicious intentions. We do not do that here. And I do not support anybody who does that. And while I keep my personal life private, there are many misleading reasons as to why I do what I do. So why don't you just hear it from me? I can do something to help people. After I did it the first time, I have had an inbox full ever since of people asking me to help them. And because I have the ability to, I absolutely try to. That's the kind of example I want to set for my son. That's the kind of example my dad set for me. And he continues to live on through me in that way. Anyone is always able to reach out and ask for help. And if I can, I'm happy to help. Let's see, I'm in my 30s. This is not a perm. I do speak Farsi, but a gohbohor. And uh, most popular on TikTok, where I have 1.8 million followers at the time of filming this. I'm most active on Instagram, but I've been trying to put as much effort as I can to YouTube. So if you don't follow me there, I would love it if you did to YouTube because they pay really well. And I hate asking people to donate to support my platform. It, it makes me feel uncomfortable. I'd rather YouTube just pay for it. So follow me there if you don't. Thank you, everyone. Love y'all. Uh, tag me in videos if you need help. Send me DMs, whatever you need. I will do everything I can. Uh.